for a first date, maybe even a second, you're not coming over and I'm not making you dinner. <laughs> hey, Harper's Bazaar, I'm Kristen Cavallari and this is everything that I eat in a day. I really didn't start cooking until I had kids. Oh, it's so funny because I just recently watched the episode of Laguna Beach where Jessica and I make the boys dinner and we say that the chicken Alfredo tasted like feet. I had the rudest bite. <laughs> Why does it taste so bad? I mean, it's, it's cool. That was where I started from and now I have cookbooks. So come a long way. So when I wake up, the first thing I do is check my phone, even though I hate to admit it, I check my phone and then I drink water. And then I make coffee. I do anything from pour over coffee, which then I'll add a little maple syrup and a little canned coconut milk, or I will do a latte with the canned coconut milk and probably a blend of homemade Brazil nut milk, which I love. I wanna let my body get hungry before I put in a huge breakfast. Otherwise I just feel kind of sluggish the whole day. So I like doing a juice. I will do apple, lemon, cilantro, celery, cucumber. Sometimes I'll throw ginger in there, which I love. During the weekday, breakfast is pure chaos because I'm trying to get three breakfasts made. And that is the one time I will make my kids something separate. I'll do either crepes. I have these gluten-free crepes out of Truly Simple that I make a couple times a week. And inside of them, I'll either do like a healthier Nutella, a chocolate hazelnut spread, and bananas. Those are great. I like making an egg bowl. So I'll do either scrambled or fried eggs, and I will do either arugula or spinach, a little sauteed, goat cheese, avocado, and maybe some cherry tomatoes. That that's a go-to breakfast of mine. But that's that's pretty standard. I think if I'm gonna be working out relatively soon after breakfast, I'll probably stick to a smoothie so that my stomach isn't too full. And I do all kinds of smoothies. Right now I'm on a smoothie kick with strawberries, frozen avocado, which makes it really creamy and delicious. Full fat canned coconut milk is my go-to. Frozen banana, I always have a ton of frozen bananas in my freezer. Some dates go in there. I'm always changing up smoothies. So what I do is I take my kids to school, I drop them off at 8.10, I'm home by 8.10, 20 and then I clean up do whatever I'm usually working out from 9 to 10 ish in there and then I'll go in the sauna for like 30 minutes take a shower and then honestly by that time I'm having lunch <laughs> that's why I have an early lunch <laughs> Depending on how much time I have or what's going on in my day, I'll either eat leftovers or I'll take a leftover protein and put it on a salad. I love a homemade dressing. They take two minutes to make and they are so well worth it. Even something as simple as olive oil, Dijon, a little honey, salt and pepper, putting that in a little mason jar and just shaking it up. It takes two seconds, but it's really good. I also love a creamy dressing that I'll make with mayonnaise if I have a little bit more time to blend it up. I get to a point where like, if I'm really hungry, it's like I get so antsy where I just have to like start grabbing stuff and eating it. I definitely snack in the afternoon since I'm eating lunch so early. I do anything from beef jerky sticks, hummus, carrots. Oh, I have a ton of bars that I love. Papa Steve's makes these really good cherry dark chocolate bars. Their lemon bars are awesome. Just anything easy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually prefer cooking alone. However, my kids love being in the kitchen with me and I love that they're interested in cooking, so I will have them help. I just have to know the kitchen's gonna be a disaster. It's, it, you just have to lean into it. You know, you can't get upset. I just figure clean at the end. I mean, there's always stuff all over the floor, but I guess that's what dogs are for. They're little mini vacuum cleaners that help out. <laughs> Dinner is all over the map for us. It could be anything from poke bowls, these beef and broccoli bowls, Mexican pizzas. Tonight we are doing Mexican pizzas. And so I have some beef and onions going right now, a little garlic, and then I'm gonna add a bunch of spices. I'm putting some refried beans on tortillas. Okay, the fun part, all the cheese. Date night, it depends. For a first date, maybe even a second, you're not coming over and I'm not making you dinner. <laughs> I think for date night, guys don't want anything too complicated. So I really think like a good steak, you can never go wrong. The homemade mac and cheese, honestly and truly simple, is out of this world. It's probably one of my favorite recipes. And then a good veggie. I love frying Brussels sprouts and avocado oil. It is so simple, sprinkle them with a little sea salt, but they just taste incredible and people think you put all this time and energy into it. Really, they take like 15 minutes. I have such a sweet tooth. So every night, <laughs> I have to have 
something, even if it's just a piece of chocolate, but I have to have something sweet. So I'll do anything from ice cream, banana pudding with these homemade vanilla wafers, oatmeal cream pies, my little Jackson, had to have those. Oh my idea, it's so good. I mean, my kids have a huge sweet tooth too, and I let them have dessert every night. Don't come for me if I mean, I don't care, <laughs> they do. Primarily, we're still gluten-free, but I have regular flour in my house, especially for my kids. My boys actually love baking. Jackson makes donuts all the time, and they're really good, and he needs regular flour for that. And the white sugar, I, we've just gotten a little bit more lax. I don't wanna be so strict with them that then they go the opposite way. I really think everything in moderation and balance. A little white sugar is not gonna kill you at the end of the day. <laughs> You know, there are certain places when I come to New York that I'm like, I have to go to Carbone. I obviously will always do the spicy rigatoni, which is what they're famous for. And then I really like their Branzino. Their steak is good. I mean, I'm kind of all over the map. I love going with a group of people and just splitting a bunch of stuff. LA has great spots too. And Nashville has gotten a lot of really good restaurants in the last few years. We don't have great sushi yet though. So that's like the one thing. LA sugarfish, always the first thing I get. And that's everything I eat in a day. So definitely check out my new cookbook, Truly Simple. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.